Big Bill Brady. Huh? I ain't gonna fight no deal. No, Frank. Listen here to me, Frank. You I'm... wouldn't fight one when you had the belt. Well, let's say that none of them came up to it, then. It wasn't that I wouldn't. I didn't have to. He didn't have to, Frank, but you do. In your hat, I do. I know what retired means, and that's what I am. All I have to do is dip the sheep. And pay taxes. You hear that, boys? It's old Farmer Brown. Sure looks retired, don't he? Look at the arms on him. Three months back in the mill is all you need. How long is it you put away Stankowitz? Not even a year. And if you smoked him in seven... You'll get this one in five. Four. Two. They got glass jaws. Right, Captain Dan? I ain't gonna fight no dead. Now, Franklin, when you retired with that gold belt last summer, nobody thought it would work out like this. Everybody just thought Sweeney had fight Woods. And whoever won that would be new number one, right? Yeah. So when the nigger asked could he fight Woods first, we figured what the hell, it'll keep up the interest. Nobody, least of all Woods, thought he would lick him. And then when he says he wants to try out Sweeney too, why, Sweeney never put the gloves on with the nigger. Everybody knew that. Besides, he was in Australia. Nobody thought the nigger would go all that way to him. And even when he did, who would have thought he could needle old Tommy into taking him on? I was down in Melbourne for the paper, Mr. Brady. And let me tell you, no paper here could print how bad it really was. He'd say, hit me now, Tommy. And then he'd let him, grinning all the time. And then cuffing him, jabbing him, making smart-ass remarks to the crowd. Wouldn't be a man and just knock him out, no. And then when they stopped it with Tommy there bleeding, he still got that big banjo smile on him. Jesus. You're the White Hope, Mr. Brady. I got what? The White Hope. Every paper in the country is calling you that. Frank, he lands in San Francisco tomorrow. Come on. I'll tell you the truth, Captain Dan. I hate to say it, but I feel too old. Ah. I mean it. That's the truth. The doc says different, and I do too. He's thinking old because he's worried what to do. Shut up. Captain Dan, you know what I mean. I know you trust me, and I say you're up to it. And Franklin... God Almighty hates a quitter. Now, Frank, you go inside. Mrs. Brady wants to show you a letter I brought for you. I paid a call in Washington on my way out here. And even though I think it'll make you so big-headed you won't be fit to talk to, you read it, come out here, we'll see where we stand. Good. So it's fixed. Somebody say something. Me, I'm asking, is it settled? Please, gentlemen, if you tell me yes, I can maybe catch the train. The man's in a hurry, Fred. What about terms? What? You expect I'm going to yell about terms? We're no babies here. You know, like I know, my Jackie would fight it for a nickel tomorrow. But it wouldn't look nice for you to take advantage. So you'll offer me as low as you can get away with, and I'll say okay. 80-20, Gordon. What? A world championship? You can't go 25. 80-20, that's it. Well, God bless America. And Captain Dan to be the referee. Fred, you're kidding me. Him or forget it. You know how it works. I don't mean no disrespect, but... Who did you have in mind, friend? Booker T. Washington? <laughs> all right, all right. Boy, what else? That's all. He don't have to fight with his feet tied together? I said that's all. We better set the place. Any place. Name it. The coach, Chicago. No big towns, Fred. You'll have every nigger and his brother jamming in there. Well, how about Tulsa? Denver? Reno? Hey, Reno, that's okay. Small. No, wait. Reno. Why not? The good old Rockies. Yeah. A white man's country. Yes, but you can find them there. They'll come from all over. It's on the main line now. And it's high and dry. Mr. Brady will like that. The drier, the better. If that nigger gets a sweat up, one good whiff off him, and Frank will be finished. Uh, well, <laughs> he's not through yet. Uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Sure. sure thing, Mr. Brady. With a belt on, okay? A deal? It's a deal. And it's going to be a pleasure. You tell your nigger I said so. Hold uh, on, Mr. Brady. I should miss a train for this. Do you tell Mr. Black Boy to give me that smile when he gets inside those ropes? Get it down, get it all down. I'd appreciate it, tell him. My eyes ain't too good these days, you understand? I like something nice and shiny to aim at. <laughs> hey, boys. Mr. Champ, stand, please. Yeah. Don't let your boy take this nigger stuff to heart, huh? Explain how it's gonna pack him in, that's all. He knows how it is. Good luck. You're okay, Goldie? Well, there we are. Oh, he's the man, all right. I just don't like the idea of calling it a hope. I wish you boys hadn't hung that tag on him. It sure caught on, though. That's what bothers me, I guess. Well, can I quote you on that? No, oh, lend me a comb. I better go stand up there and get my picture took. Mix it up, then. Face him. Face him out now. Hands up higher now. Move, he's jabbing. Don't follow those head fakes. You watch his body. There you go. Jab, jab. <coughs> Beautiful. Think with your body, baby. Now that's with your head. Think, jab. Hook him behind him. Set him in right now. <coughs> what you have? 
Giving him a right. And where you giving it? Ten bones. Sucker bone. Boy, you are worried. He's bragging, all right? You're jabbing at his liver till you're not a cat. His eyes go fidget. Why you not gonna chin? Couldn't be done what? Wake him up, wake him up. What? He's bobbing? Bobbing? He's coming at you. Where you gonna take that right now? Tim. How? Hook it. Hook to the temple. Why? Solve his place on his head. Now you listen to me, sugar. Hook him again. Beauty, give him three now. Hey, what you doing? Shucks, honey. You just know you're tired of sitting here. Why don't you go buy yourself a pretty or something? No, let me stay. Unless you mind me here, Jack. You mind Lady Luck. I don't mind you, no way. <laughs> he don't mind as long as you just watching him. But you sure this ain't too much rough housing for you, huh? Well, I try not to listen. Well, but you blind. Oh, Dick, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's something, man. <laughs> honey, you can sit any way you like, any time you want, because he's sure working happy. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, are we going to mooch or are we going to move? Reach me them gloves, man. I'm going to bust this bag wide open. Then we all go out for a champagne lunch. Four soft-boiled eggs. That's what you're going to have. Hey, Goldie. Hiya, boss. Hiya, upstairs. Thought you were staying in Reno till tomorrow. What? We got it settled. How do you feel? He feels like he looks, boss. Not eating too quick. Chewing real good. Nah, nah, nah. I'm chewing till it hurts. Laugh, laugh. <laughs> Come on, Goldie. When ain't it going to be? The 4th of July. 4th of July. <laughs> now, the newspaper, ah. guys. So it makes a difference? No, it just tickled my funny bone, that's all. Fourth of July, and Lord, you know why. Ah, uh, we should worry. Are we gonna have some gate there? 15,000. And Jack, you know what they're calling it? Already by them, it's the fight of the century. 20 years, I've never seen such a hoopla. Trains from St. Louis and Chicago direct yet. Tents to have to put up. It's a regular madhouse. And wait, Jack, from the ring, they're going to telegraph it straight to every Western Union in the country, so like right away, everybody should know. And on that, we make something too. Lively times, I can hear you coming. Boy, you about to win the fight of the century. Yeah, or else lose and be the nigga of the minute. <laughs> Say, Jack, come here. Hey, what kind of odds are going? Brady ain't the fight. What's the girl doing here? Oh, she's just looking around. She don't bother us now. Looking around for what? You be nice now here, Goldie. Come over here, Ellie. Don't be shy now, honey. She is a friend of mine, you know. Jack, you gotta bring a girl here when you train? I guess so, boss. I just love to dance and prance for the women. How do you do? Come on, Goldie. Shake hands with Miss Eleanor Backman. I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Backman. I apologize not noticing you before, but there's such a tumult around here. Sure, I understand. You're a fan of Jack's, huh? Uh, Ellie was on the same boat from Australia. She was visiting down there. Wow, it's great to be home again, I'll bet. You can't beat Frisco. Oh, yes, I like it fine. My home is in Tacoma, though. Hey. Wow! It's awful damp up there, ain't it? Uh-huh, you know it. Yes, I can't say I miss it much. Uh, uncle of mine worked in the laundry up there once. He didn't like it neither. Driss is on you all the time. Right. Up there. Yeah. Like I said, Miss Backman, the boys from the papers will be here any minute, you know what I mean? So maybe if you'll excuse me. She's us. staying where she is. Uh oh. Jack, what's the matter with you? I said she's staying where she is. I'll pass out of here. I'll wait in the room. In Jack. the room, Jesus Christ. You be nice now, here. Yeah? I know it. Last night in my head, it's like a voice. Dumbbell, go home quick, something's going on with him. It ain't nobody's business. Wake up, for God's sake. Let me go, it doesn't no, matter. No, just a second. Kick, lock the door. Well, you don't know the score, huh? Well, I'll tell you the score right now, I'll tell you. And you should listen too, miss. I can see you're a fine, serious girl, not a bum. Better you should know, so there's no hard feelings here. First, Jack, they hate your guts a little bit. Okay, you don't put on gloves. Everybody should like you, so they'll hate you a little more. Still okay. That makes you want to fight, gives you some kind of pep. Then they hate you so much, they're willing to pay through the nose to see a white boy maybe knock you on your can. Well, that's more than okay. Cash in. After all, it's so nice to be colored. You shouldn't have a bonus. But, Sonny, when they start hating you more than that, watch out. And that means now I got here. I get told things. Guys who want to put dope into your food there. A guy who wants to watch the fight behind a rifle. Okay, cops will get. Dogs, that we can handle. But this, on top of the white girl, 
What, do I have to spell it on the wall for you, Jack? You want to drive them crazy? You don't hear what happened? What am I supposed to do? Stash up in an itty-bitty hole someplace in the nigger town and sneak up there at 12 o'clock at night no, and carry around with me in a little box like a pet bunny rabbit or something. Oh, teach the boy to put black on her face and pump her mouth out so nobody noticed I took nothing from her. Let him wait. Now, you know I done fooled around plenty, Goldie. She know it, too. She know it all, but I ain't fooling around this time, you understand? <laughs> and if he said, that's what you said last time, I'll bust his nappy head. I ain't said nothing. Okay, I'm coming. Jack, I swear I'll help you, only you shouldn't throw it in their face. I'm begging you. See, this is what you fell into, darling. Do what he says. You go along with him. With you, any way I can. So go, sit over there. Open the door, for Christ's sake. Hey, fellas. Hey, Smitty, how you doing? Just a few minutes, okay, fellas? Hey, looking good, Jack. Thanks, boss. I guess you know about the fourth. How does it feel? You starting to get jumpy? Yeah, I'm scared that Brady gonna change his mind. You still think you can take him, Jack? Well, I ain't saying I can take him straight off. Anyway, that'd be kind of mean, you know? All them people, big holiday fight. How they gonna feel if I send him home early? So your only worry is deciding which round. <laughs> yeah, that takes some thinking, man. You see, if I let you go on too long, you know, you know, just sort of blocking him, keeping him off me, and then they say, well, ain't that one shiftless nigga? Why they all so lazy? But if I chop them down too quick, third or fourth round, get to them all at once, then they holler, no, it ain't fair. The poor man up there fighting a gorilla. But I'm gonna work it out. Jack, what about that yellow streak that Brady talks about? Yeah, you wanna see it? Stop flying around, Jack! Any idea, Jack, why you smile when you're fighting? <laughs> well, I'm a happy sort of person and always feels good, huh? But when I'm fighting, I feel double good, so what I wanna put a face on for? And anyway, it's a spook, right? Like a game. But I like whoever I'm hitting to see I'm still his friend. You gonna train in Chicago, Mr. Jefferson? Yeah, I wanna see for the little mama. Fried the uh, chicken, Jack. Ooh wee, can't wait. Hey, I believe that's Miss Backman over there, isn't it, Jack? You first met on the boat. Uh, no, not exactly. Miss Backman's my secretary. We hired her in Australia. She's from here, but she was there, and you know what we mean? We hired her. She came over with the boys. I see. Boss, if they finish, I'd like to rub them down now. Well, we got plenty of it now, Jack. Yeah, Thanks. Come again. Jack, one more question. Uh -huh, go ahead. You're the first black man in the history of the ring to get a crack at the heavyweight title. Now, the white folks, of course, are behind the white hope. Brady is the redeemer of the race and so on, but uh, you, Jack Jefferson, are you the black hope? Well, I'm black and I'm hoping. <laughs> Try to answer him straight, Jack. Well, I guess my cousins mostly wants me to win. Now you imply that some don't. Well, maybe some of them reckon they have to pay a little high for that belt if I take it. Well, won't you try to change their minds, get them all behind you? Look, man, I ain't running for Congress. I ain't fighting for no race. I ain't redeeming nobody. My mama told me Mr. Lincoln done that. Ain't that why you shot him? My, oh, my. It's a big black rooster and a little red hen. I got you, you mother. What you want? I'll show you what I want. Hey, come over here. Yeah, uh, just a family quarrel, fellas. Say to my, you know how it is. girl. You don't leave a mug on the floor. You had them in chokes. You got it all wrong. Yeah, Clara. I got it from the chambermaid at the Park Royal Hotel. I come all the way from Chicago to got it. And now you got it, you get your black ass out of here. Don't hit me. Jack. Put your tongue on, you evil chinch. Fellas, Sing it, Daddy. Let the gentleman see how you're smirching your wife. What do you mean? She ain't no wife of mine. No, with your what? We's coming law, and I's coming home to Papa. I is coming nothing, and don't you Papa me, girl. I'll Papa you so you never forget it. I quit on you when you cleared out of Detroit with Willie the Pimp. Will you have a hard place, fellas? I know you come after me, baby. I know you was looking. Yeah, you look out too busy to find you, girl. You're selling my clothes, my ring, my silver oh, brush. Give me nothing. Don't you come on with me, girl. You're just smelling bread. You're here cause your Willie's in jail. How you know where he at? Well, I'm from the jungle like you, baby, and I hear the drums. Tick. Take over the gold, let's give a 20 and cop out back. Come on, Clara! I'm telling you once now, go away and stay there. You ain't closing up the book so easy, Daddy. Hear me, Gray Meat? Get it while you can. Come on! You all right, huh? Well, fellas, I'm asking you, a man to man for everybody's good. Don't write nothing about it. But if it gets out, God knows what can happen. Now, look, we want to have a fight, don't we? Besides, the girl's got a family. What the hell? Okay. Don't worry about it, Goldie. Thanks, fellas, thanks. Say, let's all have a drink. Oh, Jack. 
It gets awful, doesn't it? I don't know about that. It seems to me it gets worse and better both at once. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? Yeah. You stick around and don't ever call me daddy. <laughs> Disappoint nobody. How come there's no music when I comes in? How do you do, Mr. Jefferson? As you know, of course, I am your referee. Captain Dan, it's an honor. I am proud to shake the hand that shook the hand of the Prince of Wales. Don't take that left from him. Come on, book, I'll get it over there. Get him on a scale, will you? Hey, Frank! How you doing? Look like Frank about to walk the plank. 191. Uh, Brady. 204. Step down, Jack. Say, Frank, do you believe that this man here said that I'm lighter than you? Very funny. Just, just statement, please. Huh? Oh, sure. I want to thank Mr. Brady here for being such a spoke and giving me a shot at the belt today. Now, there's been a whole lot of mean talk around here. Here we is. Here's me and here's Frank. And I'm glad it come down to a plain old scuffle. Well, mercy me, it's the children of Israel. Hello there, home folks. Come on, let's clear up. Well, how are you all today? Gonna be praying for you here, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, you couldn't get no tickets, huh? Best they don't go in there, Jack. Yeah, maybe so. That don't matter none. We just come to pray you gonna win, boss, son. Well, Amen. Man, if us mean any of you with cash riding on me, your prayers will pay off about the fifth. No, Mr. Jefferson, he mean win for us colored. Oh, is that what you praying? May the good Lord be guiding your hand, boss, son. Amen. And you traipse all this way here to pray it, my, my. Uh, what's the rep mean to signify? Is yeah, I, I know what he's signifying. I'm big, but I ain't dumb, you know? What you saw there with me for? We folks just want you to appreciate Hey, man, what's my winning gonna do for you? Huh? Uh, uh, 
Uh, give him self-respect, that's what. Huh? Hey, man, tell it, brother. Yeah, hey, I'll be proud to be a colored man tomorrow. Uh-huh. Well, country boy, if you ain't there already, all the boxing and all the nigger praying in the world ain't gonna get you there. Let's go, Jack. You look colored, son, but you ain't thinking. Oh, no, sir. I I'm thinking colored, colored, and then colored. I'm so busy thinking colored, I can't see nothing else sometimes. I just ain't thinking colored us like you. And when you come on with the man, you know what I see? That old colored us is a basket full of crabs, crabs in a basket. God send you light, son. Time to go, Jack. Shh. You tell me you're praying here and you expect I'm going to say thank you, Reverend. You ain't praying for me. It ain't. Lord, don't let that peck break his nose. Or, Lord, let him get out of town and not get shot at. I ain't nothing in it but a black, ugly fist here, and they don't even push on in to see it working. All set, Jefferson. Lay your bets, boys. You still got time. Lord, when the smoke of the battle clear away here, may this good, strong man be standing up in victory. May them who keep shoving all those people down see they can't do it all the time and take a lesson. And may us have this living man today to show us the spirit of Joshua. Give this to us, Lord. We need it. And give him light to understand why. Reverend? Don't worry, boy. We'd be all right out here. Don't you know it's so Throw away half those pictures they took. They'll be worse than the fight. I really have the feeling it's the biggest calamity to hit this country since the San Francisco earthquake. No, I'm serious. That one at least was only in Frisco. What kind of calamity? Hard to say it exactly. Oh, I don't think all the darkies will go crazy, try to take us over, rape and all that. Be some trouble, yes, but it can be managed. After all, only one of them's a heavyweight champ. But that's it, I suppose. He is. I hold his hand up, and suddenly a nigger is champion of the world. Now you'll say, oh, that's only your title in sports. No, it's more admitted. And more than if one got to be world's best engineer or smartest politician or number one opera singer or world's biggest genius for making things out of peanuts. No calamity there. But heavyweight champion of the world? Well, it feels like the world's got a shadow across it. Everything's, no joke intended, kind of darker and different like it's shrinking. It's all huddled down somehow, and you with it. And you want to holler, what's he doing up there? But you can't, because you know what? That shadow's on you, and you feel that smile. <laughs> well, so what do we do? Wet our pants, cry in our beer about it? No, sir. I'll tell you what we do. We beat those bushes for another white hope. And if he's no good, we'll find another white hope. We'll find them, and we'll boost them up there till one stays. What the hell is this country, Ethiopia? <laughs> Get along, guys. 
shake the hand of the best in the line and let's find new places. Or celebrate the open. Come in your vehicle. Come on your foot. Don't bring money. Just be there. <laughs> Signifying nothing, boss. Nothing. What builds up in seven states against any kind of mixed around marriages? Boss, he only now just say fiance. So them people don't think she's a hooker, that's all. That's all he says. Why can't he let them boil down? What does he have to bring her out in the open? For what? Yeah, but he just did it today, boss. Sure, right down Wabash Avenue. Yeah, but there ain't no law against it yet. What the hell is that? I don't know. It must be some burial society. All right, take the belt in. Yeah! Hey, hey, Every time, Goldie. Yeah, look, uh, what's going on? Oh, they'll be here in a minute, Goldie. They? Who's they? Now, what the hell is that? Yeah, you know how they are about places like this. Just they're mean, Goldie. But not here, not down here. I checked it. Not in this part of town. Anywhere, Goldie. It's one big cleanup. Woe under the keepers of the temples of Baal! Woe under the swillers in the sinks of wretchedness! Woe under those whose delight is born of evil! Woe to whoever breaks up a party on the visit street! Hey, easy, easy, easy there, easy. Let the man preach it. We're not here just to preach, Mr. Jefferson. We tell you to shut this establishment down! You what? <laughs> Get out of here, fish Shut me some of this! Easy, easy, now, mister. Look at here. Don't argue to him, Jack. Yeah, shoot him off. Shame, up. shame, Mr. Jefferson. Instead of offering these people I'm an example. Drunkenness and disorder. This is what you offer them. Do something about it. We shall Stop not allow. Me, don't him. Hands off. Me. We shall not allow fresh corruption to prosper. I know that, Mother. I work for him once. We shall not sit by. We shall not let you. Stop beating on the and you play them. Y'all wants to sing, just lean on back and sing. Say, maybe y'all can come in on it. How about, um, Earth is not my home, I'm just passing through. That's my favorite. We don't regard this as a frivolous matter, Mr. Jefferson. No, sir, me neither, because if we kicked off a rumpus, this here brand new corruptions of mine gets closed up. 
Uh, now, we apologize for any gritty remarks was passed and for not being too sympathetic on your aims. We are going to witness for the Lord. Okay. On so this sorry. doorstep, as long yes, as you... Yes, talking, Jack. Don't always be no McCullough. Say, listen, is your brain stuck or what? Now, here these good people are laying down trouble all over, and now we're getting included, ain't we? Ain't that good enough? It's exactly like what President Teddy said, square deal for everybody. Now, come on. Let's treat them right. Hey, get some chairs out here. Yeah, they're going to stay. Ain't no use to stand. Yeah, they got some old time to come You heard them. There you go. Come on, sir. Sit on down. Somebody rest your bones. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here's a pretty lady. Sit it on a pretty lady. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Y'all want some sandwiches or fruit punch or if you want to, you know, <laughs> just sing out, okay? We'll be inside. Come on, sir. Are you Mr. Jack Jefferson? Yeah. What about it? My name is Donnelly. I'm an attorney from Tacoma. This is Mrs. Backman. Well, why can't you? You're the district attorney. Do you think he's a privileged character? No, we do not think he's a privileged character. And still he carries on. Now, wait. Since he opened this cafe, as he calls it, we've made no fewer than 13 arrests. He wasn't arrested. Madam, we have no grounds What about that shooting there? You arrested that poor common law. Why won't he? He was involved. Yes, but madam, she shot at him. We can't prosecute him for being a target. Why isn't anything done about that Backman girl? She's over the age of consent, Mr. Hewlett. This... Forgive me, Doctor, but I must speak my mind. This connection between them is repulsive to every decent Caucasian in America. Perhaps he thinks his victories entitle him to it as part of the spoils. You know how niggers are, Mr. Hewlett. I'm sorry, Doctor. We can't pretend that race is not the main issue here. And as you imply, sir, the deportment of this man does harm to his race. It confirms certain views of it you may already hold. That does us harm. But also it confirms in many Negroes the belief that his life is the desirable life. And that does us even greater harm. For a Negro today, the opportunity to earn a dollar in a factory should appear to be worth infinitely more than the opportunity of spending that dollar in emulation of Mr. Jack Jefferson. But this I assert. The majority of Negroes do not approve of this man or of his doings. He personifies all that should be suppressed by law, and I trust that such suppression is forthcoming. All in favor, say aye. 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 Well, I appreciate your coming in to discuss this. It will not be to your benefit to let it rest here. Sir, I do not intend to. Good night, all. Thank you for coming. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, if a good white hoax showed up and beat him, it would take the edge off. Oh, forget it, Al. The best we got around now is Fireman Riley. All right, let's go to work. Bring the girl in. You want to question a Dixon? It was your idea. No, you go ahead, Al. See what you come up with. Why don't you revoke the license on his place? Now, that's easy enough. Sure, it's easy. We could close him. We could wrap him on disorderly conduct. We could make a dozen misdemeanors stick. That's all minor stuff. You heard them. They want his head on a plate. <clears throat> ah, good evening, Miss Backman. Uh, take a seat, please. Thank you. Um, you understand this is an informal inquiry. You come at our request, but of your own free will? Yes, I understand. Good. Now, Miss Backman. Yes, I see. You resumed your maiden name after your divorce. That's huh? right. And you obtained your divorce from Mr. Martin in Australia. Yes. That's an odd place to go for a divorce. I have an aunt there. I wanted to get away. You hadn't met Mr. Jefferson before your trip? No, I had not. You did not travel there to be with Mr. Jefferson? No, I did not. I met him on the boat. How did he approach you? He didn't. I asked the captain to introduce us. May I ask why? Yes. I wanted to make his acquaintance. And once you had, Miss Backman, what did he propose to you? That I have dinner at his table. Ah, uh, which you did for several evenings. Yes. Until you began taking your meals in his stateroom. That is correct. Where a great deal of wine and champagne was consumed, huh? You might say that. Presumably he kept filling your glass. When it was empty, yes. Ten times per evening? Six? No, I drank very little. And how often did he give you any medicine or pills there? Never, I wasn't ill. Uh, but the steward reports that you hardly left the stateroom. In the disembarking, you appeared quite ill. Oh, well, the last day at sea, we had now, Weren't quite you ill, Ill in some way? Did you feel strange or sleepy? I felt uncomfortable at how people looked at me. I wasn't used to it. He took you from the boat to the hotel? Yes. 
Did you ask to be taken there? No. I just went with him. Mm, and what did he promise you? To spend some of his time with me. Nothing else? Nothing that could interest you. Uh, but naturally, since you were staying there with him, he provided you with money. I have Mr. Martin's settlement, and I have means of my own. He's given me presents, yes. Your railway ticket to Chicago, Miss Blackman. Did you buy it yourself, or was that a sort of present? Oh, I honestly don't remember. I, I believe I bought it. Thank you. Uh, you've parried these questions very well. I didn't come here to tell lies, Mr. Cameron. I agreed to come, although Jack was against it because I want to head off any notion you have of getting at him through me. I hope I've done that. Well, it seems you have. And frankly, I admire you for it. Not many women. You're quite devoted to him, aren't you? I love him, Mr. Cameron. He's a splendid man, in many ways, really. No one doubts that, you know. No, I've never doubted it. A magnificent fighter. I saw him when he was oh, fighting that's that... that's not all he is. He's generous, and he's kind, and he's sensitive. Why are you smiling? Well, I'm sorry. It's how you shy away from mentioning the physical attraction. I've embarrassed you. Forgive me. I'm not ashamed of wanting Jack for a lover. I wanted him that way. Of course you did, and of course he'd want you. Why? Because I'm oh, white? No, I'm not implying that because... He race... could have nearly any girl he wanted, black yes, or Yes, I only meant that any man would be proud to have I'm a woman proud like... that he wanted me. Is that clear, Mr. Cameron? Certainly. Please don't be distressed. Who am I anyway? I'm no beauty or anything. Now, now you're being unfair to Why yourself, Why can't Miss they Brackett? leave us alone? What is the difference? Well, there shouldn't be a difference, ideally. And besides, people shouldn't be so blind about that physical side. A young woman divorced, disappointed, naturally... Please, if you're finished... Here, you don't listen to cry, Miss Backman. Well, it hasn't turned out all that badly, has it? You have this wonderful man now to love you. Why should you cry? I'll never give him up, I can. Well, of course not. But why be ashamed of it? I'm not, I swear I'm not. Oh, you seem to be, you know. I'm not. All right, if you say so. I'm crazy for him, yes, I don't care, it's the truth. I didn't know what it was until I slept with him, and I'll say it to anyone, I don't care how it sounds. That he makes you happy that way? Yes. And you love him, you do anything for him? Yes. And not be ashamed? No, never. Even if it seemed unnatural? Yes. And when you have, you only what? try... You only tried to make him happy, too. Am I right? Now, Miss Back. You slimy, two-bit, no-dick mother-grabber. If that's all? Uh, yes, I believe so. Good night, then. Yes, thank you for coming in. Well, that's that. Nothing. Seduction, enticement, coercion, abduction. Not one good berry on the bush. Too bad, Al. Nearly did get him on a 571, though. Bruh. Makes your hair stand up, don't it? She's like a kid with a piece of chocolate cake. All right, it's a rotten job. So what do you think? Any hope of a federal slap here? I don't know yet, Al. I'll need a word with the fine print boys in Washington. And I'd like to speak to Donnelly, okay? But what's there to move on? The railway ticket? Well, maybe not that exactly. I doubt if we could prove he actually bought it. Say you could, so? It's occurred to me, Al, seeing how we've drawn a blank everywhere else, that we just might nail him with a man act. What? That's for commercial ass, not this. She's not a pro. Yes, I know that, Al, but here is a law against transporting a person across the state line for immoral purposes. No riders? Nothing about intent of gain against volition? I don't believe so. <clears throat> oh, good evening, Mr. Donnelly. We've spoken to your young lady. Yes, and? You remember that our bureau agreed at the outset not to involve her in any proceedings unless it was absolutely necessary. Unfortunately, now, Mr. Donnelly, it may be, and we shall probably require certain evidence. We thought you should know this beforehand so that you can return to Tacoma and prepare your principal. I understand, sir. Good. Thank you. I'll have that bastard watched day and night. Don't bother, Al. We've done it right along. <laughs> Shucks, honey. It ain't cold. It's the finest time for swimming. Oh, we've come to a parting of the ways. Oh, big silver moon and tall pine trees and nice smooth water. And snapping turtles and moccasins. Oh, Lord, what to do when the romance done gone? Oh, Jack, I couldn't make it to the door. Is that right? 
Well, suppose I carry you down there and it <laughs> sort of ease you in. Don't you tickle me. Like tickle me. Hey, hey, that hurts. Hey, baby. Oh, I know, it's this damn sunburn. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me patch something on it. That's nice. Jack. Don't that feel good now? What are you? Cool. Oh, not champagne, Jack. Oh, that's all right, baby. You wave the best. All over me? <laughs> Let's get some lake on you, huh? No, I... Jack, turn around a little. No, more this way. Are you feeling all right? I ain't feeling no different. Are you sure? Yeah. You ate all those clams. Maybe you Hey, little... what you doing that for? I ain't got no fever. Well, you look a little peculiar, Jack. Oh, kind of ashy, you mean? Yes, yeah, it's a sort of funny... Baby, that's not sick. That's how I get sunburnt. Hey. Hey. What you, what you laughing at now? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on now. That's not nice. I'm sorry how you looked when I... <laughs> You thought what, huh? I thought it just bounces off, that's all. <laughs> just bounces off, huh? Well, Miss Medium Rare, meet Mr. Well Done. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to leave tomorrow? Yeah. You shouldn't leave the place alone too long, huh? I know, all right. In case there's any fussing. Shh, I know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, you do smell good, though. Yes? Mm -hmm. Jack, you're not tired of being alone with me, are you? Hey, are you kidding? Tired of me asking questions like that? Oh, I'm tired of plenty, but no, you ain't in there at all. Oh, it's lovely to hear you say that. Have a swim if you want. No, I cozy here now. Yeah, I cozy and you rosy. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up this morning, blues all round my head. Woke up this morning, blues all round my head. Uh, how long? How long? Saying how long? Lying in the sun, I was, you know, daydreaming. How maybe I'd stay there and it would keep on burning me. Day after day, right through September. And I'd go darker and darker. You know, I really can get dark. And then I'd dye my hair and I'd change my name. And I'd come to you in Chicago like somebody new. A colored woman or a Creole, maybe. Huh? Nobody but you would ever guess. It wouldn't work, huh? Huh? Everybody know I done gone off colored women. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have too, except for my mama. <laughs> Maybe if... Hey. Oh, hey. Jack, what will we do? Oh, hey. Hey. <sighs> e. E. Oh. Try and sleep, huh? Hmm? <sighs> Starting to creep up on me too a little now. calling you honey, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't remember calling any woman that ever. Call them by the name. Just baby, you know. 
I never call you by your right name. Mm. I don't care about my name. Honey? Honey from the bees. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's nothing like that stuff. We used to sit a uh, long time ago in Texas. We all would have a little honey treat sometime. <laughs> Hold a yellow mug full. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there with it, playing with it, you know. Or you lift up a spoonful, and then you watch it start to curve up, starting to slide over. Just taking its time. Slow, slow. Hundred years up there, and then down. Stringing down. Tiny little dent where it touch. And then. Oh, my sweet, sweet baby. I want to have it all. Yes. Hey, are you taking everything? Hey, stop it! Stop it! I've got the left! For the law, I'm a federal marshal, Jefferson. Put that down, please. Come on, we don't want to make this any worse. At 10 a.m. this morning, you drove Miss Eleanor Backman across the Illinois-Wisconsin state line. Having done so, you proceeded to have relations with her. Under the Mann Act, this makes you liable, and therefore I'm placing you under arrest. No, no. I'm... Get dressed, please, Miss Backman. We'll take you into town. Get dressed, darling. Hold up. Blanket up or something. Jack. Don't you fret now. Thanks, mister. Sure. How much does Carrie? One to three. She clear? Just you. Yeah. Thanks. We need these, Jim. No. Find him his pants and let's get out of here. Start it up! That's it, brothers. Singing and moaning. White man just dragged him another way here. So all you black flies, you lie down together and hum pretty please the white man Jesus. Yes, Lord. Pooh. Waste of my time, and I don't care to talk to you neither. But I sees two, three out there, same blood as me. So I says good evening to them, then I asking them this. How much white you up to? How much white you done to gone? How much white you pining for? How white you wanna be and how white you gonna get, you tell me. Hmm. You watching that boy? There ain't nothing whitey about him, huh? But what he hustle after? The white man's sporting prize. What he got an itch for? White man's poon team. What his rich living like? White man's nigger think he walking and talking like a natural man. Don't know he's swimming half drowned in the whitewash like they is, like you is, and he ain't never done different. Gulping it every day, pickles in it right at home there. But oh yeah, you saying, what can we do? We passing our days in the white man's world. Well, you make your own, brothers. Don't try and join them. Don't try and beat them. You leave them all at once, all together packed up. Click your wages, grab whatever here come in handy, and stuff off the rest. Now it's time to get it going. Time again to make us a big, new, wise, proud, dark man's world. Again, I say again, I'm telling you what we had once. Now you never mind that singing. You learn, brothers, learn Egypt, Timbuktu, Ethiopia, red and golden cities, 
older than Jerusalem. Temples and praying to spirits would stop with us. Black men carving ivory, working up laws, charting the maps for the moon, the sun. Refined, cultured, colored people as handsome as statues there. When Europe and all was just woods full of hairy cannibals. <laughs> that laughing don't harm us none. 500 million us, not together, not matching up to them. That would harm us. Now, you dream about it, brothers. 500 million us on the own part of the earth, and not a one day ever asking another. How much white you up to? How white you want to be? Alongside this sick, unhappy mother here. She looking to you, Lord. She know her boy been sinful, and she's sorry about that. But she do love him more. You give him another chance, she'll never ask you for anything. We're praying you touch them judges' eyes with mercy. Let him chastise him today, Lord. Let him find him so steep. He left without a dime. Let him scam so hard, he never forget it. But Lord, don't let him lock this woman's boy away. Amen. And if they does, oh please, Lord, let it just be for a little while. Amen. He's calling with you, sister. I thank you, Pastor. I wish I could offer you some little hospitality, but honest, I can hardly... Don't fit now, sister. Well, I can hardly... Oh, never you mind now, Tiny. I can put on a pot of fresh coffee, Mrs. Jefferson. See if Tick or somebody coming down the street first. Early yet, sister. Nobody, Miss Jefferson. Just a bunch of fellas there gonna play baseball. All right, thank you, Clara. Got a guardian angel with that gal in your house now. Who deserved one better? Should have brung word by this. Couldn't have took this long. We's in the Lord's hand. Sister. Amen. Amen. From when he was a child, I know this day coming. Look at that, Mama. Why can't I, Mama? Let me alone, Mama. Never stop. Fidgety feet and all oh, them great big eyes roaming and reaching all over. Try to learn him like you've got to learn a colored boy. That's it, that's it, that's it. That ain't for you. Roll right off of him. Tried to learn it too and meaner. More child you got, the meaner you got to if you're loving your child. That plain colored sense. Hit him with my hand, he say, so what? Hit him with my shoe, he look up at me and smile. Took a razor strap to him, that made him squint, but then he do a funny dance and ask me for a nickel. I pray to the Lord, put more strength in my arm. And the worse I was whipping, the bigger he grown. Eleven years old and still wouldn't hear nothing. Hit him with a stick till I couldn't hit him no more. He pulled it away from me and busted into and then he run off. Sister. Lord, forgive me treating him so mean. Lord, forgive me not beating on him young enough nor hurting him bad enough to learn him, cause I seen this day coming. I'll let him in now, Tiny. We's hoping with you, sister. Hold on to my hand now. That's all right, Pastor. Uh, y'all are about to enter the right house. 231. It's Jefferson's house, ain't it? Yeah, but hang on here now. The whole lot of y'all can't sit in here. Okay, we're on the stairway. Rest of you. Uh, all right, all right. Baby. Afternoon, everybody. Y'all coming from the courthouse? No, ma'am. Must just get a message. Um, Asking we pay a call here. We's the Blue Jays. Use the which? Detroit Blue Jays. You know the colored baseball club. Pulverized the Afro Giants here Saturday? Oh, yeah. My nephew Tim, that game. My name Rudy Sims, ma'am. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Sims. Who say you're supposed to call in here? Well, we saw the friends with Jack. This ain't no celebrating party, you know. Now hush, Clara. They're friends with Jack. Why somebody want to send us a baseball team here? 
Maybe we best wait out in the hall, ma'am. Nothing of the kind. Clara? I ain't never seen Jack with no baseball friends. I never seen him with you, so he's even. Don't let it rile you, Rumi. Thanks for coming. Any time, right. man. Came as fast as I could, Miss Jefferson. Well, you're here. Come on, talk. It ain't good. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on, finish up. 20,000 fine. Three years in jolly and free. Oh, yeah. what did I do, lawyer? Do nothing. What they give us a week of peeling on it. Oh, no! Yeah. They love him, bro. Don't take old souls, sister. Bring me the smell of souls. Uh, no, I don't want nothing. He do have a week out on bail, Miss Jefferson. They said it kind of heavy, and we figured that they might. But we're going to make it. Oh, bitch, that'll drive him crazy. Yeah, but we got to see that it don't, Miss Jefferson. That snaky little wax-faced bitch, where's she at now? Where's she blood-sucking? Oh, I'll smoke her out, and man, Sister. what I gonna do be worth a hundred three years? Is. It ain't her fault. She no. know this and I'm coming in a deaf, dumb, blind, penny living, didn't know it. But oh, daddy, she joying herself so. It's so good when it's going. Leave it alone. Oh, but daddy, I just loves you. Could be she do love him, Clara. She what? He brung her down here one day. She didn't seem too bad. Nice and quiet, too. I ain't talking to you. Could be she'll love him. Then why she scat off then with a man in trouble? Why she leave him? Best unwind that serpent from your heart, sister. Love him, my black ass. Sister! Oh. Poor gal's fretting so. Praise the Lord and welcome. Reverend. Hello. Everybody. Good boy, Rudy. Ready for you, Jack. Fine. No rush. How are you, Mama Tiny? They didn't hurt you, Jack. You get enough to eat? Oh, sure, Mama. I'm perky as a turkey. I should feel as good as he does. How are you, Mama? Oh. You still kind of poorly? It drained me out some, I guess. Oh, Mama. Hard luck, Jack. We've been praying and praying here for you, son. Well, if the Lord is going to hear anybody, he's going to hear you. Amen. Well, look like he ain't this time. But he's going to put me on my feet. I can feel it. And I'm going to help him. I'm going to rest up and eat good. And I'm coming down there soon, Jack. Mama, listen to me. Offer that they allow me to. You wait and see. And no. I'll bring a big old picnic Mama. basket Baby, on my baby. own. I can't let them clap you up in there. What's she doing here? That's all we need. Get off of me, you mama. What the hell? Yeah, Clara come round when she here. I was ailing, I've Jack. I'm doing for your mama, Jack. She's trying to mend her way. Jack! I count to ten for you to beat it. One. No. She's been my helpmate, Jack. Your sister gonna hire you a housekeeper. I keep in house, baby. I'm up to five, girl. Let it be for now, Jack. She can't spoil it in here, then out in the street screaming or something. That's all we need. Sound like sense, Jack. Spoil what? Listen, what these boys up to? Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, what for you playing peekaboo with that day automobile? You ain't about to make things worse, son, are you? Jack! All right, I got to trust all you folks here now. No matter how rough it appears, Jack. What is there by the window, Jack? They's looking. Who? Who looking? Detectives in the car, Mama. Jack! Now, Mama, listen. What they waiting out there for, Mr. Golden? Even though Jack is out on bond, you see. If they're worried, I'm going to try to jump my bail, Mama. They're worried. I'm in hock up to here with this. Jack, you just got let out. It's the best time, Mama. They don't know already. But they're following you. They think they is. Jack, what if they catches you? Sweetheart, they won't get nowhere near me. Now, the first thing what I do is take off my coat. No, 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 no. Sit down, sit down. Then I stand here sort of talking, see? Woo-wee. Heaven sakes, no fooling. And then I let them see my face. Yep, looks like rain. And I know they've seen my pink shirt. Uh-huh, don't you wish you had one? So I goes on sort of talking. See, now, over there at Rudy. Yep, he's checking his turnip again. He has to hop on that train soon, you know. The Blue Jays are playing Montreal next, ain't you, Rudy? Against the Canada Blacks? That's right, Jack. Let's go, fella. Yeah, you look mighty fine on Rudy, that don't he? He's not as pretty as me, but he's never about as big, and he's a half a shade blacker. And... Oh, oh, mercy, he got the shirt on, too. Lord, protect us. Yep, it's clearing up now. Uh, Jack, we should maybe talk this over some more. What you trick him into, mister? It's his idea, believe me. It's all right, Mama. Rudy was spending the afternoon by the window here, and I go rolling across the border with the jade. They find you out, Jack. I put on Rudy's cap and his jacket, stick in the middle of his boys, who find me and... Who looking? Y'all hear that old saying about all niggas look alike, right, Gene? Right. right, Jack. But son, you's the kitten. He's friends with that Canada. I mean, he's hardly a different place. Paul, before they cotton out to us, we'll be on that ship to England. Right, boss? Right, right. All fixed, Mama. All but fixed ain't just gonna happen, Jack. Serious offense to go flouting the law, Jack. I know they done you real hard, son. But it's gonna hang over you as no. long 
What's going to hang, going to hang, and I ain't hanging with it. I done my kicking around this country. Served so my one night, my 30 days, once two. And I ain't going to run in no jail like no law for no three years. And come out broke as is now, neither. I'm in the prime of my life. Going to live like I got to. Going to make me some money again and going to fight. I got my turn to be the champion of the world, and I'm taking my turn. I'm staying what I am, where I had to be. It. The world ain't curled up in no 48 states here. Praise the Lord for lighting the way for my boy. Forgive me, I say I didn't love you, Jesus. That's it, Mama. Well, yeah. 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 she could put in a word for me, too. Yeah. Better move it, man. Right. Oh, you all boy. stick around here till we're gone, OK? Then stop running in and out and keep you busy watching. Take me with you, honey. Don't you cross me. I'm going to meet your baby any place. You know the score, girl. Please. Hey, this going to fit all right? She's Beautiful. coming to meet you, ain't she? That's where she at. Hope you make it to the game on time, Well, Rudy. you ain't meeting that bitch. I'll turn you in. Oh, 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 Museum took up a branch here. Over there. Peace, Jack. And let Mr. Trencher do the talking, you understand? Thank you. We'll get this all straightened out, huh? Well, I hope so. You feeling kind of edgy, huh? No. I don't. Sir William Biswell. You're breaking my hand here. Good morning. No, no need to rise. Thank you. Yes. Now then. Allegations have been made to us concerning the possible undesirability of an alien person's continued visit here. We have, of course, our own book of rules With on the subject. With due respect, Sir so William, I'm amazed that you'll find this necessary. Mr. Coates, British Vigilance Board. You'll really be debating this. A convicted criminal, a fugitive from justice. My client's conviction was known to the authorities. He was admitted at their discretion. Oh. That is true, Mr. Coates. Our discreet authorities are helpless to correct their initial error. Is that what you imply, sir? I implied nothing, I'm sure. Your official silence indeed implies something, like official license for breaches of the peace for moral deficiency flaunted at the public. Now wait, I ain't flung no fishes at no public. Jack, Jack you have oh, to tell them what, what you did do, your great flesh. Nick, no. And don't you yeah. talk that way, yes, lady. Yes, I speak my piece now. Mr. Coates says it. Go on. Go on. I rented in me luxury miser nature on a 10 Portman Square. And not many would rent to them, believe you me, a black and white job to boot. But I thought they at least was married, which they wasn't. And I thought she'd be in white, they'd be clean, which they wasn't. And I thought maybe them bin lovebirds like they are, they'd settle down early nights when well, nothing of the kind. Parties, champagne, doing their dirty dances. Oh, I saw them, turkey trot, and all the rest of them coloured steps. That damaged Mrs. Kimball's fat was nearly 400 pounds, Sir William. The amount has been paid. Who is next, Mr. Coates? Inspector Wainwright. Metropolitan Police. November 9th. Charged with using obscene language in Coventry Street. November 15th, charged with causing a crowd to collect. November 25th... If the police offences are all of this nature... You may skip to January 3rd, Wainwright. January 3rd, charged with assault on Mr. M. Brotby. The charge has been dropped, Sir well, William. Sir, but a man trained in the use of his fists... No, I just shoved him. What you tell this man, Mac? Oh, you are... M. Brotby. Olympia Sporting Club. Jefferson came to us proposing that we met him. We'd been unwilling to associate ourselves with him. We expressed this position. He became unruly. He, he attacked you, you mean? The affair has been settled. Mr. Jefferson's apology. Oh, the affairs yeah. are settled. The popular press delightedly reports them. Nightly in the music halls, they're dealt with as a joke. Is any of this desirable, Sir William? This is a time when disruption is the order of the day. For the very ground we stand upon, undermined by socialists, atheists, anarchists, 
I say, anarchy. It's not merely a word. It's a man with a bomb in a public building. Mr. Kirk. And sir. you're amused, sir, when this lady refers to these dancers coming into vogue since this man's arrival here. Well, read your Plato, Sir William. Read your Plato. I say. New modes of music herald upheavals of the state, sir. Oh, really, Mr. Coates, I've seen the turkey trot and no, it doesn't... Let me say. remind you of the waltz, Sir William. The waltz? The first waltz, sir! Are you asking me to dance? <laughs> sir. sir William, may I venture sir, to... I can talk? Yes, please, go ahead. I've come over here as a prize fighter, sir, but we couldn't get no decent match fixed up, so I was just laying around and getting fat, kicking up and fussing people. Well, now, I guess I shouldn't have because of what I am, you know, colored, I mean, what some folks here think is a freak anyhow. But it took me some time to get used to being here now. What I want to say is, they relax it here fine now, and now that Lord Lonsdale and fixed me up a match where I get your training in fighting, and we won't have no more rumpus. Well, Mr. Coates, as I see this at the moment, the American legalities are none of our concern. The breaches of the peace you've cited are trivial. The man's moral character, deficient perhaps by Queen Victoria's standards, but she, of course, is gone now. And as for the palaver in the press and the music halls, well, these are liberties we simply have to bear. Think of them as part of the white man's burden. So unless Mr. Jefferson commits a crime of some sort, uh, you have something to add? I should like to correct Mr. Jefferson's assumption that he indeed does have some match on here. What you talking about? I'm signed with him now, fighting Albert Lynch, March the 18th. Let me. It appears now that the London County Council refuses to issue a license for this fight, and inquiries indicate this difficulty elsewhere. Uh, refuses a license on what grounds? Mr. Farlow? Well, I should say that Mr. Coates has already expressed the council's position. Well, they try to pull three chairs. Seriously, baby, well, the man entered England with the express purpose of pursuing his career as a pugilist. One of the grounds for his remaining in England, of this career of his, does simply not exist here. Don't do this to him. Okay. You're supposed to be fair here. Uh, madam, uh, please sit down, sir. Oh. I shall make no comment on the curious principles operating amongst you to keep a man from following an honest vocation. Let me assure you, sir, however, that you are free here to change your means of livelihood. You may remain and work at any... Okay, let's go. But the guy is still trying to... Understood, I hope. Come on, Gawley. I want to thank you for your time, sir, and for sticking up for me. I'm really very sorry. You will excuse us now, please. See you, Treacher. Jack, your client will be leaving the country, I take it. That's right, man. You take it. It's all yours. <laughs> Avec Paco Flores. Zut, zut, zut. Trois rounds, je gagne. Je boxe à Rio avec Pereira. Zut, trap. Deux rounds, je gagne. Je boxe en Afrique avec un noir gigantesque. Là. Zut, boum. Pas de contest, monsieur. Et c'est Jefferson. Qui c'est, hein? Qui c'est? Oh, champion du monde. Oui, la, la, la. Mais il n'a pas boxé pour un long temps, c'est vrai. Il boit le whisky, oui. il fume les cigares, oui. il est gros, il est lourd. Il vit comme, comme un Yorkshire Mavis Finn. Un cochon C'est ça, cochon <rires> Moi, je cours chaque jour, 30 km, même à la bateau, oui. Je boxe l'ombre, une heure. Je saute à la corde, cinq fois. Petit sac, 20 minutes de gymnastique. 40 minutes, deux fois, matin et soir. Ben chaude Touche toi, votre massage l'après-midi, mange bien, 10 heures semaine. Je oh, 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 oh. pense que j'exagère. Attendez le combat, Jefferson. Et zut, zut, gauche, reste en main, droite à la tête, gauche en camp, zut, frappe, boum, 10. Et voilà, vous verrez. Hey. Keep breathing deep, champ. Nice and slow. I knows how to breathe. Going to finish that Polak off like a chicken dinner? Yeah, just hurry it up. Ain't even going to mush your wool up on it. Don't talk like that in front of her. Jack, don't be silly. 
Say, when did you start calling me champ anyway? Oh, come on. See, that's too tight. Full house? Girlie, they're hanging from the rafters. Water bottle chicken want to rinse. You okay, Jack? Why do you keep on asking me? So what's the matter? You're worried about something what you're worried about. Wee! That Polak show's in for it tonight. Jack, for Christ's sake. Hey, Jim, where's that old bottle? Como? Dio. Dio? Yeah, Dio. La Boudin. Mr. Who? Never mind. No? No, no, D-O. Below. That a boy. You see, you just have to be patient with him. Bad teeth tonight, that's all. All right, couple of minutes. What about Jack? We better warm up some now, OK? I'm going to warm up in there on the man. Oh, come on. I ain't going to get you in the Look, you ain't got to tell me what wind I ain't got. Man, I, I know what shape is. I know when I ain't in it. I know when getting in it is wasting my good time. I ain't got a train to take no fifth-rate geeks. Jack, who says different? That's who I'm fighting here, ain't it? It's the best we got around here, Jack. Just hit him one and shovel up the money, right? Just jump in with a big gold belt, right? Niggas is evil, white folks too, so glad I'm a Chinaman, don't know what to do. If you please, Miss Jerry, I'll go into my seat now, Jack. Honey. Good luck, darling. Do me a favor and stay here. I want to see the There fight. ain't nothing in there you want to see. Oh, please, Miss Jerry. Be, be. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, this smile, the famous smile. Yeah, don't worry, I got it on me. <laughs> Very good. We won't be long. Oh, the boys have doped me in. He's at it again. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I missed him, old Jack. How is he, anyway? Fine. <laughs> yeah, he sure is looking good. Oh, a little moody. A little? Yeah, well, that'll pass. Don't let it get you down. See, part of it's all this moving around. Yes. Yeah, well, once you're not, you settled in somewhere. You... Whoop. There they go. <laughs> you know what I mean. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, sure. How long can it be, anyway? I don't know, really. Oh, Christ, that, that must be hard on you now, huh? Oh, I'll leave all that to Jack, as long as you rest, keep your strength up. No, no, it's very important, Miss Bagwell. Look, when my missus was seven, eight months along with little Smitty... Go away, I, will you? Oh, come on now, be a sport. When's it gonna be? It's not go away. I mean, you were looking so peaky the other day, I just had a oh. hunch. Oh, now, don't get sore. Look, the folks back home want to know. I told you no! I let you down. Now, please! Yeah, something else, maybe. Uh, wedding bells, homesick. You hear me, fam? God, it's never going to stop. Hey, are you feeling okay? Yes. Oh, he's dished it out. He's not getting it. Please. Well, you don't look so bad. You take a smile on this. Come on. Well, how long do you think you can take it living like this? It has to burn you out, Miss Backman. Can't you see that? Burn you out. Now, you're not as tough as he is, you know. You can't just keep... He'll come out of it. Hey, grab that bag. Go right, honey. Quickly, please. Man, you had a real bag. Listen to time, Jack. Come on, honey. honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How much you say he weighs, Fred? 237. He's six foot five. Watch it. Mama. Not bad, Captain Dan, eh? Wait, here's Vancouver two weeks ago. Now hold on. There, there's my boy, the one on the left. You couldn't exactly miss him, Fred. Rushes straight in. There. I don't want to brag, but when that kid first... Oh, for crying out loud. Won't take a minute. So what do you say? If that's no white hope, I'm Queen Pocahontas. He's the right stuff, Dan. Maybe a little raw yet. Fresh. Fresh is what he is. Big, clean, strong. A real farm boy. They're waiting on their knees for something like him. How about it there? I don't think we need to see any more, Pop. The lights, please, Harry. Okay. Well, you tell me, Dan. You want me to promote it? I'm ready to promote it. Anytime, anywhere. Right. 
What do you think, Dan? I think he's a full-grown polar bear myself. <laughs> we have to send over somebody, don't we? The papers are hollering, all the old bull. Honest, it's getting like remember the main here. Oh, he fills the bill, all right. But say we do send him over and the black boy does it again. Then where are we, Fred? You won't ever have it on a plate, Dan, you know. Pop, Fred, let me tell you a secret. The next white hope is the one who gets the belt back. Not means to, or almost does, or gets half killed trying like the Polak. He takes it. He finishes right on his feet with a big horizontal nigger down for good there. What do you mean, Dan? Is it yes or no? I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Pop. Mr. Dixon A yet? Yeah. Come on in. Pop Weaver, Fred. Have a chair, Mr. Dixon. Thanks. All right. Oh, we're hopeful, I think. <laughs> Dixon here is with the Bureau in Washington. Like you might expect, they have Mr. Jefferson on their minds, too. I've been down there. We've had some ideas. You explain it to them, son. When a man beats us out like this, we, the law, that is, suffer in prestige, and that's pretty serious. Now, people regard the law as part of its effectiveness. It can't afford to look foolish. And this applies especially now to our Negro population. Though you may not be aware of it yet, a very large, very black migration is in progress. They're coming from the fields down there, filling up the slums. Trouble's starting in Europe, and our mills and factories have worked for them now. And I'm talking of hundreds of thousands, maybe millions soon. Millions of ignorant. Negroes rapidly massing together, their leanings, their mood, their outlook suddenly no longer regulated by the little places they come from. Situations have arisen already. We cannot allow the image of this man to go on impressing and exciting these people. I'm only a sports promoter, Mr. Dixon. He read the writing on the door, Pop. Go on. If this position he enjoys were to be lost, through the outcome of his next engagement, let's say, the effect of this would be so much in our interest that we'd be disposed to reconsider his sentence. You'd make it worth his while not to win the fight, you mean? I think I've said what I mean, Mr. Weaver. What's the furthest you can go? We'd reduce it to a year, of which he'd serve six months. We're willing to make this as attractive as possible. I say my kid can beat him fair and square. Don't ride it, Fred. Look, if you won't promote it, I'll hop on a boat with him and find someone who will. You don't want to do that, Fred. Well, what am I? Fred, I'm telling you as a friend. I just don't like it. It goes against me too, Dan. And against me too. I don't have to make anybody no speech here about how good I feel working something crooked. None of us like it. We wouldn't be the men we are if we did, or be where we are. I know it's lousy, but we got a situation here needs a little bending. The man's try to tell you how serious it is. They're bending with it, I'm bending with it. Who are you to sit here and tell me it goes against you? Or you either on your pedestal there. What about the champ, though, Dan? He'll never buy it, or my kid either. He's straight out of Sunday school. Nobody has to tell your kid a thing. And Jefferson? After that last one, nobody over there will fight him anymore. He's down to giving exhibitions peanuts. But serving six months, Dan. It can't be much worse than killing the six months. Besides, his old mammy ain't been too good. He'll want to see her once before she goes. Sure, he'll take it. You can't put that deal in writing, can you, mister? Sorry, Pop, I wasn't even here. Oh, what the hell, Fred? We'll balance it out on the one after this. Everything back on the gold standard, right? Okay, okay. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And we thank you. I wouldn't count on results straight off, though. Oh, I think the country can hold up a little while. <laughs> Excuse me. You seem to be indignant, sir. Yes, I heard you. We have that all the time from people like you, that old Machiavelli crap. Look into it further, sir, but not in here or at home. Give it some thought next time you're alone on the streets, late at night. I'll be in touch with you. Yes! Oh. 
Kopf, dann bring er. Nicht! Nein! Himmelska! Ja! Nein! Brahms! Mutter! Nein! Nein! Ah, wunderbar! Ehrlich! Mein Herr, you're the cryo! Well, thanks for dropping around, boys. Wir müssen die Fahne von der Regiment präsentieren. He says we must present to you the flag of our regiment. No, I can't take that. I'm American citizen. Just buy some tickets for the show, that's all. Yeah. But then, please, why don't you to woo me out? <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Come on, on Sharp. Camera, Sharp. Okay. God, the drinks are sure hot on your feet here. You must get my Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mein Herr, we got to fight for you this suitable memento. Great. I'll be looking out for you. Be the same. Be the same. <laughs> you after. You want to go back to the hotel? There ain't nothing going on there. I wonder how they brew it up so heavy here. Mix an egg in it or something? Beats me, man. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, such delights again to see you. What you bring here, boy? And I told you, Mr. Rakoshi, excuse. Just tagged along, Jack. I am patient rewarded. Which one was he? Let me think now. You ain't the one that wanted me to team up with a circus. No, no. Oh, the artist guy gonna hire me and do me in black cement. But you recall Ragoshi. Man, that's that Hungarian. Oh, yeah, that's right. Please, let's speak additional words. I supply this champagne over much schnell bitter. I consult myself. Sip. Why don't you send in the goalie, goalie brushes? He wasn't there. He had to go out. Oh, yeah, something moving? Just meeting that reporter. Smitty? Yes, he rang up. What do you want here? Must be on a job and saying hello. Ain't nothing going on here. See, si, from my own hands, I take it's a privilege, champion, lovely friend. Ready for the pumps, man? Oh, Mr. Jefferson, I count again last night the people attending you. One quarter business, it pains in my heart. Yeah. I implore again myself. Let Ragoshi be devising the spectacle to you. Song, dancing, sentiment. Out in San Francisco where the weather's fair, they gotta dance out there, they call the grizzly bear. Nothing else on earth could ever quite compare. It ain't poony, James the shuffling kind of spoony. Curl a look to my baby. Yeah, please stop it. What? You just tell him no and get rid of him that I'll way. I'll tell him what I want to, Jack, huh? we're in the street. Where I want to and how, him. Man, she wants he's trying to Who asked you? Talk to me about streets are so goddamn touchy about people looking. You ain't even want to be here. I don't like people looking when you're this way. No, you don't. I don't either, but I'm stuck with it and you ain't. Where are you going? Get your ass back on that. A man bought champagne. Please, Mr. Jefferson. You sit down, too. I'll be in the room, Jack. Yeah, then you say you're sick and waiting around hotels. I never said that. Well, you're giving out your mixer so hard you don't have to. You just don't like nothing no more. I won't even answer you. That's right. Give it up. What do you want, Jack? Don't like nothing. Excuse me, please. Sit down here, girl. Let her go, man. She's got those fear again. Eleanor! Come back. Tell that goalie I want him here and get him. Heavy foot bastards. Happy days, mister. Brush it. Brush it. And I am eagerly to hope you. Lassen mir! Lassen mir aufsteigen! Hey! Oh, we bring you as we promise. Out and shot the camera. Yeah, let me dust you off with him. Yeah. It's suitable, man. I beauty sold out and spiel in weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't rile him, man. Again, bitter. Hey, where in the hell you come from, anyhow? Where he must ask. Oh. Africa. Oh, 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 oh. Authentic, yeah? Oh, Jesus. Here, you observe. Huh? Yeah, is stripe mark. Voila, voila, voila. Here is custom, more large. Shai's public a hunt, 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 hunt. Sit down there, man. Please move, hunt. Much obliged, fellas. That's exactly what I wanted. Hey, hey, hands. You best let us darkies get acquainted, you know. Chomp on a few bananas and such. Moose day banana acid. And he pleases you to be a camera at Hibbox here. Oh, man, I'm happy as a cow with six tits. Oh, 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 young girl, when you name oh, 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 I wish they'd start a war up and keep them boys busy. Please, you forgive me. I am employed in this, please. Oh, that's all right, Chief. I needed some exercise anyhow. I am not Chief. I am son from their Chief. Oh, yeah? Well, 
Take a pew here with the field, niggas, boy. Yo, Ozzy Box here, yeah? Yeah, that's me. When I'm working at it. From America, coming. Yeah, coming and going. From home, much long. Is to help now, you. Yeah, you might say that. I am feeling I have in Europe three years so. Woo! Lord, you done lit out for good, huh? Please. You done vamoosed from the old country, Africa. Uh, you think I come for not deserve? Nine. I come, so I go there back. How's that? Meet more education. Oh, 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 gotcha. Student. Yeah, never touch it myself. I do not say to give shame. Huh? Oh, oh, no, man. Look, I'm with you. Say, what are you studying? The law and the finance and the chemicals mining. Yeah, makes a headache. I thought Mr. White was running things down there. Now? Yeah. And they're gonna let you help out, huh? So? I watch. They ain't leaving go, man. No place. Tomorrow night. Yeah, next Wednesday night, neither. Oh, folks here goes like you in America, old black man. Well, don't go by me, buddy. It's not right, strong people, to be so. Well, we just strong on crying now, and that's all. Nine. Was sleep. Sleep not strong. He die. Cry is from their life in. He a bitch, ain't he? You jump good from sleep, you. Oh, oh, you think so, huh? Yeah, I see. Well, I don't know, man. I just went the whole hog, you know? <laughs> Shoot it off. Yeah, you a jump. Yeah. I too, folks here, uh, so. You, I, we begin, yeah? Look, man, I ain't tried to start nothing. No, folks, yeah. When I will be in Africa jumping, I hope so much nothing I will make. God, all over town, I... Oh, are you, you busy? Don't run off, man. I gotta talk to you, Jack. So, I go. Oh, hey, no. Please, your take. My father again, please. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world, man. Also you, you are keep me, yeah? Oh, that what this is for, luck? Nine, we are hurt from spirits. Goodbye, folks here. Okay. I'm listening. Well, we got a match. A match? How much do I get for losing it? Huh? Okay, I'm listening. How the hell does he know? My witch doctor just told me. Well, let me first explain what Smitty... Yeah, boss, I know what Smitty. If you're asking for a straight fight, they ain't sending no Smitty. What are you getting saw? The guy Who called saw? Me How much it worth? Well, Fred's got this boss, good, see? you ain't hearing good. 80-20 split. A hundred G's guaranteed. Woo! Boy, that's pretty good for playing old laying down, ain't it? And they're gonna cut the raft to six months for you. Well, you see all folks can do when everybody pitch in? Any special round they'd like me to dive in? Well, he says we can work all that out. But what did you say? I said it stinks, but I'll let him know later. Right. You send Smitty a bottle of that, tell him to suck it through a straw. You don't want to think it over. How long you been the manager? For five, six and years. why you gotta ask? Why? Because I gotta eat. That's why. What am I managing here, for God's sakes? What else you got in front of you? Don't try to sell me, boss. Big shot. Send him champagne. On what? On the fights you have with your girl, maybe? On the two bid exhibitions? I can't even book no more. On a 10% like this, my enemy should live. I know it, man. It's time to find fresh meat. Then what the hell do you need me for, anyway? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Hey, over. Jack, let's go talk to him. They're gonna keep after you. You're getting sick here. You call it right, man. You can't live not fighting, please. No hard feelings, boss. You've turned into a clown. Just take all you need to get home on, you. Strong man act. A sideshow what? Look at your option here. I'll find something someplace, boss. Oh, Jackie. Oh, look at what you're doing. I know it ain't good, boss, but it's the best I can. <laughs> I am a mirror in 
bien parta. De mutatim a ragoshi cabore o atraxioyat a meriki klaishiskus onku tomaj konyoya. A yelenet a Mississippi parjan ya chodikli shuk shuk onku tomaj e shelitleva e vestek anapkiotet. E hat de mucha chuk o vila bonyukot here, Uncle Tom, do come and sit beside me. Deed I will, Miss Evie. Right here on this lovely old grassy bank. See how beautiful the clouds are, Tom, and the water too. And you are right with them, Miss Eva. You is the beautifulest of all. But, friend, why do you seem sad this evening? Oh, Miss Eva, you and the master is so good to old Tom, he just got to cry about it now and then. Yes, we are happy here. They like a plantation from the good book, and you is the brightest little spirit I ever see. Oh, Tom, sing about the spirits bright, would you? Just getting set to. I see a band of spirits bright that takes the glories down. They are all robed in spotless white and waving palms. Oh, look who has come to make us lively, Tom. <laughs> Dear me, Topsy, why do you behave so? I expect I was just playing. <laughs> how old are you, Topsy? I don't know, Miss Eva. But don't you know how old you are? Who was your mother? I don't know, Miss Eva. Never had no mother. What do you mean? Where were you born? I don't know, Miss Eva. Never was born. Uh, All right, you shiftless heathen. Give us a breakdown and get back to your stinks. Always think I'm up in heaven when I'm back in Dixieland. I have an angel of a mammy back in Alabama of the good old-fashioned brand. She told me I done wrong to stay out all night long. So I said, my baby, my mammy's little angel song. Again, Miss Eva. Yes, there's something I must it's tell you, Uncle Tom. So. It can't be, Miss Eva, not yet. So. Do not be gloomy. Look at those clouds now. They are like great gates of. hardly care how I feel about my daughter. And I know what most of you watching this believe in, or think you believe in, or try to believe in. But please, ask yourselves this, I beg of you. Ask yourselves what black really means to you. What is it to you, truthfully? You and you and you. If it sets off in your heart what it does in mine, memories, words, shapes, I can't stop them. The dark to be afraid of, pitch black, black as dirt, the black hole and the black... Oh, I hate what I'm saying as much as you do. 
I hate that I feel it. And God forgive me, but I think you feel it too. And if it was God who intended us to feel it, and still will that color on a race of human beings and brought us face to face here. I think he must hate all of us. Look at all of us. At me, at my daughter, at that man, at yourselves. And tell me, if you can, please, how can it be otherwise, ever? Nothing, man. Maybe one pulling out tonight. Anybody know what that shooting's going on over there? Porter said it's just practicing. Yeah. What will we do, Jeff? I don't know yet. Well, do you think maybe we should go I back to the hotel? I said I don't know yet. All right, I heard you. Take Todd to something with her, will you? No, no, it's sort of an emergency, Jack. Back home. Your mother's very low. Give me that. I'm sorry about this, fella. Yeah. Thanks. Look, maybe we could work something out for you, Jack. You go straight over now and then do the rest of it. I know you want to be there. Well, you might just make it, Jack. I've hired a car and I've fixed up your passage from... Damn button. Well, Christ, deal or no deal, it's worth a try, isn't it? I mean, even just to let her feel you're on your way, she'd be you. Well, thank you for coming around, buddy. Now, look, you can't stay here now anyway, Jack. This is the war here. You I know don't that. Now, where are you going? Today, man. All Listen. right, don't get sore. Look, I really thought... See you sometime. Jack, are you sure? What the hell is it for, Dolores? I mean, you know Boy Scout. Now, what the hell is it, Jack? Just keeping the belt a little bit longer, just staying champ a little while longer? I can't make you out. Champ don't mean piss all to me, man. I've been it. That champ jive had been beat clear out of me. And that belt of yours, it just hardware. And it wouldn't even hold my pants up, and I'm stuck with it. It's a hunk of junky hardware that don't let go turning green on me, still ain't letting go. I'm stuck with it as bad as you all are stuck with needing it off of me, so shake it loose, you understand? Knock me for 10 and take it, and then I'll be much obliged. Well, now, look, you know we'd rather have it straight. Yeah, you would, huh? Well, sure, Jack. Look, if you weren't so damn... <laughs> you got a hundred million people over there, ain't you? Then picked out the best hope you got, ain't you? Jack! I want a match with it. I wear a I said a match with it. If you ain't gonna give me one, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna take my funky suitcase, my three or four hundred dollars, and get myself to Mexico, and you can tell them that man right up next to you. I'm gonna sit on the line and wave your crummy bell at you and sing out, Here I is. That's gonna work, Here Jack. I is. Here I is. Oh, Leave me alone. Holy One of Israel. Amen. 
Most of you ain't present today out of paying respect to Sister Tiny here. You all here to stand up for Son Jack, and that's fine. He got a place in your heart. The Lord must want him having it. But brethren, make a place there for this humble woman, his mama too. Take sister in your heart and let her show you something. I know you done took in what Jack been showing you, but this lease is good and maybe worth more. Praise the Lord. Amen. When thou passes through the waters, I will be with thee. This woman passed through them all the days of her life. Yes, yes. Born slave like lots of your papas and mamas. Right. Passed through them waters. Yes. Passed through plain, hungry waters. Yes. The mean waters. Yes. Yes. Cesspooly waters. Yes. Currents her like to so mop you. Yes. Waters with blood in them. Yes. Passing through one waters into the next one. Lord. Sweating in them waters yeah. from can see in the morning well, till can see at night. Oh, yeah. But what was going on with it? Yeah. Tell me that. Lord. Lord. Amen. The Lord says, I will be with thee. Yeah. And the Lord was passing through them waters with her, mm. holding her afloat oh, yeah. and lifting up the joy in her. Yeah. 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 That's what she had, brethren. That's what she show you. Right. Mm -hmm. She didn't cuss them water. No, no, no. She knows what everybody knows in their heart here. Yeah. Well. There's always them water. Yeah. There's always tribulation. Yeah. And the next one, yeah. and the next one. Yeah. And we're always passing through. Yeah. You is, and I is, yeah. and you're chilling gonna, and anybody's chilling till kingdom come. Yeah. She didn't blame the Lord for not parting them waters yeah. like the old Red Sea. Yeah. She know he done said, they shall not overflow thee. She know that 50 years ago, when we was nigh to getting overflowed, he give us a Moses, and he did part that sea, and he took us out of our grace, grace, grace. She knowed all the time while she pined for her boy, that the Lord was sitting. Ignore him. Just so you dirty pink face pimp. This ain't the time. Oh, yeah, it's a time, all right. What's he doing here? What's any of them doing here? Clara. Look at him. How you feeling now, folks? All dressed up there watching a funeral? Ain't you bought some flowers? I'm sorry about sure this. Sure you is. You and that white bitch and a whole pack of you. Come on over to the box there, sugar. See how good you all nailed the lid down. Sister. No! I see Mama Tiny's heart getting busted. I see the lay in there shivering and sick as she nothing but bone. I hear them begging for Jack. Who set him running? Who put the mark on him? Why is he going so bad? Where are the trouble from? Damn! And damn! And damn! And, and I want no. to get him. Oh, come on, Ralph. Help me, Mama Tiny. Oh, what do I want to do right by him. <laughs> Don't leave me, Mama. I'll be good. Oh, brothers and sisters, look out! Look out when Satan starts lighting the hate fire. Mercy, Lord. Remember who the Lord says vengeance belongs to. Yes, yes. Remember he forgets not the cry of the oppressor. Yes, right, children. Y'all suffer nice and easy, and you school them on it, boss. Who talking there? Me, your no-name brother. Take that off your head here. No. I went in to buy me a hat once, boss. Man said, cover your head with a hanky, then try it on. Shame on you. Yeah, now nah, you singing a shame on me. Shame on all us for being the oppressed and being it and being it. Shame on us, mooning low 200 years here for needing a big white Moses for a daddy. Amen. Yeah, and shame on every goody book thumper like you. White man keep pulling teeth out of your head and beat your head, giving you the laughing gas. I'm warning you here. I'm warning everybody. I'm warning that white gal. I'm warning them police. They ain't nothing lasts forever. Tell I'm warning that dead woman. 
Jesus wasn't swimming with her. And I warned my people, that boy just a shadow. And they living black men would got to live long. Right. Yeah. Don't even me. Y'all making believe you're the children of Israel. You fiery furnace and you rule on Jordan. And you ain't no Israel. Dead. That's a Jew, man. That ain't you. Now, see what you see. Look in the mirror once and see what you see. I said the mirror, not a lot of blue eyes y'all using for a mirror. Hating what they hates, the hair you got, the nose you got, the mouth you got. I am asking you. You hate that bully head. You got to hate the man what got it, brothers. That man, you. Moment. Don't hate it, brothers. Champion in your heart. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Look at this, I can't even think straight. I told you. Don't no. tell me again. One more lousy picture of him in that belt. One more news he's sneaking down there to see him. What about the ones up here on me, Daniel? Say you can't promote it. Say he's asking too much. After that piece in the journal? Here. We'll fight kid for car fare and the watermelon? Christ. Maybe we can pay him off to retire, Dan. 20 years, what I'd give for 20 years. He wouldn't need to lay down. We'd get the belt back. Sure, and have a coon champ retire undefeated. What if we promise him a straight fight later on if he takes a dive in this one? Later on? Well, you know. He's too goddamn smart for that. It's just an idea now, but suppose we sign it and then something gets put on his sponge or in his water. Yeah, it's worked before, Dan. I'd hate to hang this on something from a drugstore. Jesus, listen to us. Look at that boogie's got us down to here. Don't excite yourself, Dan. I'm a verge, I tell him. You know what I look like? Stalling for months and making excuses, and all he winds up is smack on the border like a boil on the whole country's ass. All right. Then why don't we sign it and have it, for Christ's sake? He'll never be in shape the way he was in Reno. Get it in writing. Here, look at the gut on him, and look at that kid. Fred. Honest to God, he's better every time out. Listen. Four KOs and three decisions since April. And I've got him with Brady now. We're giving him all kinds of angles on the nigger. Like how when he smiles. Do I have to hear this? No, now wait a minute. I mean it. You're doing a smile. See, your mouth's kind of open and your teeth's not clenched. You hit him when he's smiling, you can bust a guy's jaw. That's no bull. That's from an osteopath. Pop, you try. Go down there yourself. Dan, I don't discourage very easy. But I'm afraid there's only one safe bet for us. It isn't ideal. Come on, come on. Even if he's still as good as he was, Dan, the man is no spring chicken anymore. And you know what happens. Maybe not by tomorrow or the next day either. But it will happen, Dan. The legs will start to go like everybody else's. It's all downhill. Two years, three years. Whenever he's ripe, we throw him in with Fred's boy. Pop, can't you help me? Taking this on was a real mistake, Dan. I'd like to follow through, but that's the best we have. I'd go along. We could say we're waiting on account of the war. We could give a big play to the middleweights. Pop, Jesus. We can work it. Let's put it on ice. There ain't that much ice in this whole rotten world. Well, what do we do then? Kill him? How broke is he, Smitty? Well, he lives in a flop house and he trains in a barn. Any dough from outside? Yeah, friends a little. Find out who will stop it. Anybody sparring with him? Dan, what's the point? A couple of rubes from Texas. Pull him out, send him home. No exhibitions, nothing. No contact. Cut him off. He's not going to give, Dan. He made the last move he had, and now we'll screw him with it. Now we're going to show him the bad move it was. This time we ain't asking or offering or trying or pussyfooting around this like a bunch of pansies. We got him so close we can reach out and squeeze. We're going to squeeze that din so goddamn hard soon a fix is gonna look like a hayride. And don't make him any madder than he is. Start scouting out a place we can hold it. We're making us two mistakes in a row, Dan. Havana, maybe. The bigger, the better. I mean it. Tell your people we just can't deliver. No, I'll tell them we might need a hand. Say, wait. You get busy, talk to Goldie. I want all that set. We're way out over our head now, you know. So is he, friend. Let's see who goes under. Do it soon. Soon. 
Going good now, drag him on down. Oh, won't you for me and his dead mama and every black ass woman he turned his back on. For every gal with a man alongside dreaming him a piece of what he got. For all of his let down second best sisters. All of Mr. Number One's little ugly sisters, we're dragging on him with you. Don't ever stop now. Off at that high horse. And on down the whole long mud track in front of him. Years gone to nothing. Feeling him there limping and slipping and shrinking and creeping and sinking right in. Hold on to your mama! Soon, baby. Soon. Slow it up! Slow it up! What the? Let some of that sweat out! Times are getting hard. Give me ten cents worth of hard. Gonna keep my skillet busy if I can. If I can, can, can. If I can, can. Enough? Yeah. I'm pushing. Okay, Paco. That's it. 6 30 mañana. See, campeón. We run? Yeah, we run. I come for wake up. No, I'll be up. Coming along fine. Fine as dandelion wine. Going to raise that bag up tomorrow a little higher. Starting you lifting them, huh? About a foot or so, you know? Seeing the size of that kid. <laughs> sure, funny size for a kid, ain't he? Seems like something going wrong with his glands. Don't try unwinding it, man. Just rub. Yes, sir. Shine them up. Down one and Hey, up. you leave those gloves, will you? See, si, campeón. Why? You can't work out tonight no more. How much they got say he'll give you for him? Oh. Fifty. Your gloves, baby? Ahí viene la señorita. Put him in a piece of paper so she don't see him. Yeah, you can work out with the heavy ones for the time being. The heavy ones are better for you anyhow. Buenas noches. Oh, what that old landlady whip up tonight? Andre, vaya! They feed their dogs around here. You feeding yours here, ain't you? Sit it down, hon. How's my gal tonight? All right, you? Fine. You should have seen him burn up that road this morning. From the bridge to Fredilla. You gonna, you gonna say it or what? No, nothing, Jack. No cables, nothing. Thanks. Man, we'll be hearing pretty soon. Worrying's got you tight. That's why you ain't sweating like you ought to. It's your rub, man. Ask me, it's a good thing they ain't signed us up yet. Give us all this good get ready time. Let him eat before it gets cold, Jack. Yeah, switch his brain off. Leave it! Okay, okay. Jack. Uh. El tren from El Paso. Yes. Yeah, whistle like that crossing over. Hasta mañana, señores. So long, kid. Why don't you come back and wash now, Jack? I'll wait here if you like. Smelling pretty strong, huh? You know that's not... That's enough, man. Jack, will you talk to me? Tick is going over on an errand. You can go over there and walk around with him a little. No, I want to talk to you, Maybe Jack. Maybe get yourself an ice cream soda, look at some Americans or Jack. something. Jack. Not with me, boss. I ain't going stone with no white gal and no Texans. Hold on to Fort, hon. I won't be too long. Go ahead, Jack. Take them specs off. Can't hardly see you. I didn't think you wanted to. You read my mind now? Jack. I told you to keep out of it, didn't I? I can't. Please let them. You have to. Oh, you're finally batting for the home team, huh? Cable them tonight. Please, Jack. You finally come around. Don't fetch 
me now, and Jack. I, told you to keep I don't on. care. Forget what you told me. Say yes and get it over with, for God's sake. You're letting them do this to you, and it is worse. Worse for you, man. It's maybe. slow poison here. There's nothing else to wait for. Just more of it, and you've had enough. You're being paralyzed. Here. With you, maybe. Yes, all right, with me too. With everything but hammering the stupid bag. Yeah. You're not your own man anymore. Now you're wrong. How can you be your own man when they have you? They do, and you know it. You are theirs. At least you can buy yourself back from them. Sold one buck, nigga, for the oh, lady. Let it sound the way it is. Run when they push you back, when they pull you. You work yourself sick in this hellhole for nothing, and you tell me you're not theirs. Look at the grease you swallow yeah. for them, Jack. Look at the bed bug bites on your arms, the right. change in your pockets, mm. the blotches in your mm. eyes. Don't need a smell out. The two of us smell whatever turns people into niggers there. It's happening to both of us. Your wish coming true, huh? Never this. It wasn't this. Sang it, sister. I want you fighting them again, Jack. That's what I wish now. I want to watch when you're knocking them down for this. Dozens of them. God help them. Wipe it off on all of them. How about rooster fighting? That's any right here. Listen to me, please. Yeah, I ought to look into that. You'd fight them. You'd be with your friends. We'd find the place. Somebody want to sign Maybe it? Maybe we could live then, damn you! A little frame house, tree in the front. Anything! Nice quiet street. Anywhere, a place, Close a little, the kitchen. Put the cat out, tuck oh, in the kids. You get away. I'm going to teach you what the living is like, baby, as far as I'm concerned. I'll put you straight on it and all of you too. I went to the fair once, and there was this old pug, see? He'd give anybody two bucks to stand up around with him. Professional setup. Regulation rang and all, except there was rope just on three sides. That's right, the back side was the tent. So I watched a couple get laid out in that real quick, see, but he don't look all that red hot to me. So I climbs in with him, and I'm doing all right for a youngster. And all at once, he bulls me up against the tent side of that ring and slam, wham, somebody behind that conks me right through the canvas, and he must have used a two by four. And every time I stand up, he pushed me back again and slam. Now another one. Down you come. That's a good story, ain't it? Jack. Well, that's the way to live and go the way I know it, sometimes, baby. Sometimes. All the way now. That's where I is, and that's what I'm getting. I'm going to get it the same saying yes sir, or no, sir. Oh. It don't matter what I do. I'm in there, you understand? And I don't want you watching or helping or asking or waiting or having me any a job about living or anything from you without and I mean out. A goddamn plane, I gotta make it to you. Jack, if you want other girls. Get your stuff I... ready. The train is out 10 o'clock. No, no, I won't. When Tick come, I send him over. Jack. You just better stop moving. Stop it. I apologize after you yell after now. Now, wait, you have to stop it. All I have to is to be black and die. But lady. I want to stay. And you stay with your own lady. What are you doing? Now, quit that. Quit it. Sharp and sweet. I won't go, Jack. You know they're coming, I start moving. Just wait. Don't cross me now. I thought we'd save something. I said move! Please. Move! You're through with it now! Yes. No more laws that grub you gotta puke up! No more you're looking like a washed out rag here, or your eye twitching all the time! Don't, I don't care. Just move! I'll take better care of you. Hanging on me, dead weight. No, not Stop. for you! Stop! I'll find a job, Jack! Told you when my mama died, I said leave me be for a while. I now. can't run anymore, not by myself. You got your own people. Listen to me. You're a young woman. I'm never mm. You're gonna find no one else. Tough titty! <laughs> Wait, Move. why God can't damn you it. wait at least to give me a chance to make you happy? One chance, only one. I swear I've never had one. It's too big all, all around. I won't go, Jack. You want to drag it out, huh? I won't, I can't. I'm going to wash you up real good now, you great you bitch. You can't make me go. Stop doing this. <laughs> Why do you think I ain't put a hand to you for how long, huh? Why do you think you turned me off just looking at you? No, stay, stay for it all. You know why? Don't you, honey bunch? Because every time you push that pinched up face in front of me, I see where it done got me. And that's what I'm looking at. The why, the wherefore, the number one who, right down the line, girl, and I mean you. I don't want to give you nothing, you understand? I'll cut it off first. Oh, I despise you. Right, like all the rest of you. I'd like to smash you yeah. back. Me and that other dumb nigga who lets us have gone home and hustled up one or don't know it yet. And a penny for you. Just score them up. What, joke, brother? Ought to hang a bell on you so they hear you coming. You mean this? Look into my purple eyes. <sighs> you win, Daddy.
I not come in? Who are you, mister? I am not mister, champion. I am jefe in this place, comprende? Government. Now please, I sit now, yes? What you want, man? You like drink? No, I'm in training. Please? I'm in training on a fight. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Es terrible for negro, for peón, for all poor peoples. He's fighting for many we are from the mother. And I ask you what you want, man. And I hear you, champion. Salud. I ain't done nothing to none of y'all here. Where is the fathers, compadre? The what? The fathers. The wing. It's all high, flying over like angel. You think no? El hombre solo. But you have to, man. Maybe you discover soon. Is solo not possible? Que vida. You playing with me? I'm going. No. I feel into you big compassion, my friend. This Mexico is my country. I hungry here. I kill here. I fugitive like you much times, but always to love. You country, you not love her. And she not you. Only make bad dreams each other. Antinito, he fit. Dejanos entrar. Good evening. Senores. Hello, Jack. Yeah. OK. I'm listening. Well, all right. They're uh, making it easier, Jack. I mean, it's. Uh, they throw in now suspended sentence. Yeah. You fight in Havana. You hand yourself in. You go to court. One, two, three, that's all. Go on, boss. Well, uh, don't be shy about it. Shake it. <laughs> it's quits now. Maybe you will tell me, mister. Apart from your original conviction, Jefferson, which carries, remember, up to three years, there are quite a few other violations involving, for example, jumping bail. Using the mails to bribe officials in Canada, tax irregularities, falsifying passports. They'll throw the whole book on you to God knows when. Wait a minute. You tell me the rest of it, man. Your law is up there. And I'm down here. You can't leave that out, Kenny, man. I'm in your country. Ain't a man. See, si, compadre. It's perfectly legal. Once we've ascertained where a wanted man is, to request cooperation of the parties in charge there. Perdona me. Champion, we need from them, comprende? We not like, we need. Yeah. You go Havana, it's better. I would think so. You finish inside there. What'll you have, Jack? An old man you'll be. Well, I'm pretty far along as it is, boss. I'm standing here, getting older every minute, and I'm going out the door. No, compadre. You use that thing if you have to, man. Hombre, even I let you, where now you think you go? It's all up to me, man. I tie with rope to do this. And I'll kill you first, man. Hijo, every place catch on you. I swear you all give you to gringos. Huerta, I said I'm going out the door. Hombre, hombre. Can you give me a break, for God's sake? No! Who are you helping in your life? Now you help. Cabron, one more. Well, maybe you be doing me a favor. Yeah! Right. Chinga, te gringo, you stopping. Hombre, you no stopping. What? Dios mío. What? Threw myself down the... Oh, Jesus. Down the well, man. I couldn't. Get somebody. Hey, buddy, give me the bottle. Why did she? Busted her neck, man. Honey, baby, please. Say me no. I do to you, honey. <laughs> what did he do, baby? <laughs> what did he do to us? No puedo mirar. Jack. Jack. Anything. 
anything I anything what Jack said you fucking fight up set it up set it up I'll take it now well there's such a commotion on this, you think we just organized the second coming. Tickets, they're going down without them. Hey, honest to God, it'll do your heart good. Songs about the kid. You pass a brick wall, it has kid painted on it. People on the street saying, well, we got the hope there. And wait, wait, I bet you can't guess who's refereeing. Brady, oh, will they eat that up? When he's in there giving the count and he's, what? Nah, he ain't in on it. Neither is the kid. Who the hell wants that? But he's the one who lost it. And the whole world's gonna see him take it in his hand again and hold it up and pass it on like the kid will pass it when he has... Okay! This time, we'll keep it in the family. something to carry. A what? That's off, like you put one on for him, remember? No, kid! Chase him! He's trying to get his wind back! What the hell are you... Give me that cool Rudy and tell that pal of yours to lay down! No! No, no, Jeremy Marcia! Christ, the niggas all over him! High up by him, wailing at him! No, no cover up! He's stuck! Oh, Jesus, the kid just... Give me that Kid, cover! Kid, turn! Turn! Cover him, can't your ribs Stop in. the goddamn thing! No, 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 the niggas right out of him! He's after it. He's getting all he's got. He's working like a butcher. Go! Get his kid! Mr. 
coming through here. Jesus, the heat's got him. Oh, you're going to fight without your Jews, Luke. Mister, it's no use. It's, uh, Shut up. Here they go. The boy, get to him. The nigger slouching in there. Mister, he don't hear. He got a little stiff on his pins there. The kid's just waiting for it. I begged him to lay down. Like it's my own son. I begged him. The nigger's feeling him out. The kid's sort of rocking it. Now back up, kid, please. The big roundhouse. Here it comes. The kid's still up. He's still up. He's trying to shake his head clear. The, the nigger don't know where to stay on your feet. Yeah. He is. He is. The nigger can't do it. He's hitting, but he's out of juice. He's punched out. I knew it. Man, not to just sting him, slapping him. Kid, he can't do that. He's arm heavy. He's clear. Look at him, kid. He's sagging. They're just heaving at you. What the hell, they? The kid's hit back. He's lashing at him. He's swinging there wild. He can't he's see. Oh, the swinging. Man, the dude's just lurching around. Sell him out, kid. There, oh, oh, oh. He's swiping him. He's pressure it. The kid on him. No, he's over. Yeah, I know. Look at him. Let's go, baby. Jack, why do you think it happened? I'm asking, why did it, Jack? He beat me. That's all. I just didn't have it. <coughs> Ain't that right, boy? Easy, baby. Nice and slow. Why, Jack? Really? Oh, man. I ain't got no really from the year one. And if any of you got them, just step right on up and say them. No, you are new here like I am. Come on, children. Let them pass by. 